I'm Jamie, and today we're going to teach you how to make cookies. Hello, I'm Brenna, and we're not going to make any cookies. We're going to chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. Okay. Now, the first step to making anything is making sure you have all the ingredients. So, Brenna, what are those ingredients? Okay. First, we have some flour, some baking powder, some butter, some light brown sugar, yeah. some normal sugar, some vanilla extract, one egg, and semi-sweet sweet chocolate chips. So, before you start mixing anything, you should set your oven to 375. And we're going to start out... First, you have to put all the ingredients in a mixing bowl. Okay, so first we're going to start out with two-thirds cup of light brown sugar. And that would be... In here. Any brand. Yes, except that's dark brown. <laughs> and then we have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. All right, Brenna, we're going to do one and a half cups. One and a half cups. No more, no less. One and a half. What's the next ingredient, Brenna? We have one tablespoon of baking powder. One tablespoon. That's a teaspoon. So, I like this. One of those. Of baking powder. Soda. Next, we have half a cup of soft margin. Soft margin. One whole stick equals a half a cup, so. It's good. It's measured. Okay. And then you want to have one fourth of a cup of sugar. Regular sugar? Just regular sugar. Okay. That's not enough sugar, Brenna. Need a fourth of a cup. There we go. Okay. Next, we need a half of a tablespoon of vanilla extract. A half a tablespoon? Half a tablespoon. Pretty sure it's not a half a teaspoon? It's a tape. Oh, no, it's a teaspoon. Never mind. <laughs> it's a teaspoon. Don't listen to me. It's a teaspoon. So now that we've got a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Yes. Half a teaspoon. After that, we have one egg to put in. That's pretty hard to mess up the, me mess up the measuring. Okay, one egg. One egg. One egg. <laughs> Next, we have two-thirds of a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. That's where the good stuff comes in. Will you cut it, Brenna, please? Oh, I will. Thanks. You're welcome. Two thirds, Brenna? Two thirds. And if you want to make a little bit of chocolate, you can add more. It's always your choice. It is. So now what, Brenna? What now, is the next step? The next step is to mix it. It's real good. With the blender mixer. It's always easier. But if you do not have one of these at home, you can always use a whisk and do it by hand. But it's not as easy. It is getting these on. This looks a little grainy after you mix it up and not like cookie dough, but once you start clumping it together to make it into a ball and put it on the cookie sheet, everything will turn out fine. So now you want to get your cookie sheet ready. Just a regular cookie sheet with aluminum foil spread on it. And you're going to spray it with Pam just to make sure nothing sticks. Very crucial part. Exactly. With big old blobs, delicious cookies, but you won't be able to eat them. So now you can either use your hands and Measure however you'd like, or do an exact measurement with about a tablespoon for each amount of cookie. And you're basically just going to clump them up into a little ball. Just about the size you want your cookie to be. But of course they won't be the exact size once they get into the oven. And you're just going to place it on your cookie sheet. Just keep doing that until there's no more dough. Now, once you're out of dough, 
you're going to bake your cookies for about hmm, 10 to 12 minutes. And this should be your final product. Let's see us let's see how they taste. Mmm. Delicious. Definitely. Well, thanks for tuning in and watching. Now you know how to make your own homemade chocolate chip cookies. Tune in next time. Hello and welcome to the Late Night Napa Show. I am Brenna Granfield, and if you would please welcome our guest, Joseph Zapata. Today's topic is Arnold Schwarzenegger is an animal killer. He has changed the euthanizing period from six days to three, all because of a budget crisis. So Joe, what do you think about this? I think uh, changing from six to three days is not the best thing to do because, I mean, just because for the budget crisis, it's going to help out a little bit of money, but in a way, it's not doing, it's not doing the families that lost their, you know, their pets any good because they have less time to look for their pets. They have less time to, you know, to, uh, to retrieve their family member because that's what a pet is. It's like a family member. Very good. And so, what do you think about the Humane Society? They have been keeping their pet. They have not been following this law, and they've been protesting against it. Steve Lutterer, director of the Napa County Environmental Management, has quoted that generally our policy is that we hold adoptable animals for whatever time is necessary. We've held adoptable animals for months. If an animal is not adoptable or there are health issues, we'll take appropriate action. Euthanasia is not based on a head count. What do you feel about this? Do you think they're doing, making the right decision going against the law or do you think that they're setting a trap for themselves? I think going against the law in this case <clears throat> is actually good because it gives family members a, um, a longer chance to find their 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 pets, like I said before, and and in this case, yes, there are we, the uh, it's not helping the budget crisis in the budget crisis a little bit, but it's also it's also bettering be, bettering the families because they have a chance to have their pet back and that's what we, we that's what we need indeed that is true and kelly tracy supervisor at the animal shelter has quoted that a lot of the times people don't start looking for their pets until the fourth day my concern is don't wait until don't wait it's so important to have your pets microchipped and licensed so that we can get your, your pet back to you the sooner the better. What do you feel about this? <clears throat> I think having the pets microchipped would also help the budget crisis because they'd be paying their money for the microchip, the microchipping, and it would also help the um, the families get in contact with the humane society or the, the animal shelters, getting their and yeah, getting their their animals back. Um, it it would also help out because. I mean, oh no, I'm oh, sorry. I um, having shortened from six days to three days, it gives us less time to find pets. And I just lost it. <laughs> Hello, I thank you for calling the State Mental Hospital. Please select from the following option menu. If you are codependent, please ask someone else to press two for you. If you have multiple personalities, Please press 3, 4, 5, and 6. If you are schizophrenic, please listen to the little voice inside your head telling you what number to push. If you are dyslexic, press 9696969696969696. If you are bipolar, please leave a message after the beep, or before the beep, or after. Leave a message after the beep. If you have short-term memory loss, press 9 now. If you have short-term memory loss, press 9 now. If you have short-term mem memory loss, press 9 now. If you are blonde, don't press anything. You'll just mess it up.